Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, Sarah Surrett with Get Positive. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about some pros and cons of having a reptile as your perfect pet. I'm gonna go ahead and share four common reptiles that you might consider to bring into your home if you are looking to have a pet. So the overall benefit though of choosing a reptile is that they are pretty much, at least the ones I'm gonna go over, are readily available. So you can get them online, you can get them at your local pet store. They're also mostly all pretty affordable and easy to feed and house. They're all just gonna need a tank based on their size. They're gonna need um, a simple diet, some of them a little more specialized and I will get into that. But the overall, for me at least, con about reptiles is they're not really cuddly. They're not gonna cuddle up on your lap. So if you're home, you're retired and you wanna sit down on the couch and watch your favorite show, they're not gonna be that cuddly, cozy, furry pet that's gonna sit on your lap with you and watch your favorite television series. So, but let's get into it. You can decide if a reptile is a perfect pet for you. All right, so the first one I wanna share with you is a bearded dragon. A bearded dragon is a type of lizard. And what's great about a bearded dragon is that they're pretty cool looking. And if you have grandchildren that come over and visit, they're safe with kids. So that's a nice plus. The other thing is they're not too big and they're not too small. Bearded dragons get about this size and they've got a, a cool tail, cool face, cool body and that they can hang out with you. So you could put them on the front seat of your car, take a ride to your local store. They're not gonna really go anywhere. And the other thing about bearded dragons you need to consider is that they do need a little bit more of a specialized diet. What that means is that they're gonna need some fresh greens daily and they, they eat a, a, quite about, a quite large amount of insects. So you're gonna have to find those local insects um, at your local pet stores and be feeding your bearded dragon substantial amounts so that they maintain a good healthy diet. So if that's not something you're interested in, you might cross off the bearded dragon on your list of perfect pets. All right, so the next one is actually a bearded, I'm sorry, a leopard gecko. And the leopard gecko is so cute. I remember when I was in high school, we went on a senior trip to Mexico and there were, there were geckos all over the ceiling. Now they weren't leopard geckos, but nonetheless, they were very cute. And what, what's fun about geckos is that they're, they're not too small that they're gonna get lost, but they can stay pretty happy inside their tank. You can get several geckos. Um, no one's gonna really like, dislike, oh, there's Patsy, speaking of kitty cats. Um, no one's gonna really dislike your gecko. They're, they're great to look at. They are very low maintenance. They're easy to handle. They are going to need some moderate heating. So just like uh, the bearded dragon, you are going to need a UV light in their tank to maintain that body temperature that they need. All right, let's move on to the next reptile that you might consider. The next reptile to consider is a corn snake. Now, I will be the first to say I am not a huge lover of snakes. <laughs> They're a little scary to me, but so many people love snakes. All right, they are not that cozy, cuddly, soft feeling of a cat like Patsy that just jumped off the table. But snakes are pretty cool, according to many. And a corn snake is great because they're not too large in size and they're really fun to play with, I hear. And they're very easy to care for. The kicker is snakes eat rodents. So you're going to have to go out and buy mice and rats to feed your snake. So is that something that you find exciting or not your cup of tea? I'll let you decide. All right, moving on to the last reptile I want you to consider is a box turtle. Now I called my friend up to ask her about her box turtles because she has some. Now what's great about box turtles is that you can house them inside in a tank. Now you're gonna have to give them a tank that's large enough as they grow for them to have ample room to move around, burrow and tunnel. Or you can have 
If you're more of an outdoorsy person and you don't want a pet in your house, a box turtle might be that perfect pet for you. You take the smell and the care and the maintenance and you put it outside. So she has her box turtles outside in a almost like a little garden box. And what's neat about box turtles is that they hibernate for several weeks out of the year, usually around the November timeframe, straight through March. So anywhere from 10 to 20 weeks, your box turtles are going to be hibernating. They also need fresh fruits and bugs and um, greens daily. And she even mentioned that they love snails, which is kind of gross, but anytime you want to clean out your snail, your snails around your plants, your turtle will be glad to take those off your hands. So the other thing about turtles is that they're kind of boring. They're not really exciting pets. So if you're not looking for a lot of excitement and interaction, maybe a turtle is best for you. The other uh, pro though about turtles is that they are pretty low maintenance and they are affordable. And every once in a while, they're kind of fun to watch. You can have them move around, take them out of their, their habitat and let them crawl around. So I do have a, a client from the past that had dogs, cats, and a turtle, and they all kind of cruised around together on the back patio. It was really cute. So um, I guess that's it for the turtles. Again, they're not super entertaining, but they're kind of cute. And uh, they are reptiles. Uh, if you were wondering whether a reptile or a turtle was a reptile or an amphibian, they are reptiles because they have a vertebrae and four legs. So a little factoid for you there. So that's the overall scoop on reptiles. You're gonna decide whether a reptile might be that perfect pet for you, and I can't wait to hear what you think. Take care. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.